And uh, I should just say hi, guys, and that uh, my name is Gopal. I'm from Srinivasan Young, and I also am part of Advocates, the podcast project. And um, I've been practicing law now for 26 years, and I've never really been one for uh, using Lexis Advance or any type of sort of database uh, search, but they've asked me to do this today. So let's just see whether I can. Um, Lexis guys have given me a demo before, um, so they roughly know where I'm, I'm headed, but let's see whether or not I can make anything of this. So what I need to do is I jump onto the analytics page um, and you've got an analyze your case um, uh, section. I have uh, pasted um, a, a summary of my brief here. Uh, and the interesting thing is it's not just catchwords I'm putting in here. It's actually facts in relation to the, uh, the brief, which I'm going to be doing. Let's see if I can, uh, if I can just uh, hit analyze and where that takes me. Now, this takes me to the next page. Um, what we have here on the left, let's see what I can navigate through this. As I say, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a big one for using uh, 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 databases, uh, electronic databases. Uh, what we have on the left here is um, in blue are all the issues that were part of the brief that I typed in. And, and it's interesting, I think, because again, it's just so much more than you'd be able to do in terms of just um, of keyword of a keyword search and the advance. So if I go to the right, whatever is in blue from my brief is reflected in these blue bubbles. Uh, which are here on the right hand side. Uh, and what stands out from this, apart from any other product I've seen, is what's in grey. And that's uh, on the left hand side, just below, you can see what it under the heading legal issues recommended by uh, legal graph. So what that means is that apart from these key issues, which were from my brief, which are in blue, so let's just jump onto tenancy agreement for a moment. What a database and the, the artificial intelligence is asking me to consider as well are these issues in gray, such as was a notice of to quit uh, uh, issued? Uh, and what, are there squatters on the land? Um, is there double rent? Um, you know, is there an option to renew the tenancy? So let's just take double rent. So let, let's assume I want to I want to consider that as being the additional issue I'd missed out thinking about. Uh, that's got 23 cases. So let's go back to this left hand side and uh, walk through this. So now I have realized that I should really consider double rent as well. So I've now made that when I hit apply it changes the outcome. So that now becomes double rent is in the blue. It becomes one of the issues as part of my brief as well. Now, if I go down a little bit, so these all these other issues I could have considered, but and I've, I've decided, no, I think it's only double rent I need. Uh, and then you've, apart from anything else, you've now got related concepts as well. But here is the kicker. So on the left, I have results. And you have this tab called historical case outcomes. So what we have here is under each of these headings, each of these items, which are part of my brief tenancy agreement, subject to consent, breach of tenancy, additions, rental arrears, double rent, etc., etc. Each of them gives me a historical outcome in terms of how they've been decided by the court. So the dark blue is that means that position has been established. Light blue, it's not been established. And um, the the lightest of the blues is in part, it's been established. Now, what's the value of this? Um, the value of this is, for example, in the not established, I am now going to be able to see the cases where double rental, let's say I'm going to take double rental as being the issue, where double rental was not established. So I know how to argue around it. But what I can do before that is I can decide uh, I don't want to see every single decision on double rental because, you know, if I go down and look at double rental, there are under that category, there are eight cases. Hmm. Let's see whether there are any just from the federal court. Click all, court, like all courts. I just need to click on federal court, Malaysian federal court. 
and that's filtered it to Malaysian federal courts. Are there any cases for double rent? Yes, there are three where it was uh, not uh, established. And that's what I want to see. I just click on this. And then bada bing on the right hand side, I have the three federal court cases. And interestingly, I don't just have the catchwords, which is, you know, what are used for the uh, in Lexus Advance. I have key factors and then I have the outcome as well. So these are the three cases where double rent was not established. I can read them and work out how I'm going to go uh, get around them when I argue uh, my case. So that's how Lexis Analytics works. And uh, can I just say, I think it is really, really interesting. Thanks very much to Lexis. I really enjoyed doing that. Thank you so much, Gopal. Um, so I have a few more questions. Sure. If that's okay with you. Okay, so, um, all right. So after try, so after trying this out, now that you've tried it, how useful it is to have the analytics tool in your everyday practice? Uh, definitely. Um, I think what I love best about it is I don't have to fiddle with, um, with, uh, with catchwords. Uh, I can just put in my facts. Um, and I get an outcome. Um, uh, so yeah, it is, it really, I think it's going to be a real ma ma major step up. All right. So, and also what's your opinion about having such technology available for lawyers in Malaysia and how do you think this could change the future of law? Um, I, I think it just makes things very, very much quicker. And I think where it really stands out is it tells you what you haven't thought of. Um, and I've not seen a tool that does that. Um, and that's where I really think it stands out. Great. I'm so happy that you are happy with it and you find it interesting. Yep. Very. Thank you very much for the demo and thank you for letting me try it out. All right. Thank you so much.